case, it's Ro. As many of you know, I love the game Best Fiends. I play it a lot. Someone may be on level 414. I love the character Howie. It's my favorite character. Last time I showed you guys, he kind of looked like an apprentice, like a mage, and he had little magic balls. And now, I have leveled him up the highest you can go right now. He looks like Gandalf the Grey. Today, I wanted to make a video with Best Fiends because they are doing something really, really cool in honor of Earth Day. They are running a charity campaign called Apps for Earth. They've teamed up with Apple and the World Wildlife Fund. For those of you who may not be familiar with the World Wildlife Fund, they are a charitable organization that helps to protect the environment and all types of life on Earth, like the panda bear. That's their little logo. They have a little panda. He's super cute. It is a charitable organization that is near and dear to my heart, so I wanted to get involved. For this campaign, Best Fiends has put together 15 bonus levels, which you get to play with cute little panda bear characters. Oh. From now until April 24th, if you purchase a cute little panda bear character, 100% of the proceeds go to the World Wildlife Fund. I got really excited about this and I wanted to get behind it and get involved. So I got all of the pandas. I have got all of them. They are adorable. I wanted to show you guys what they look like. There's Lily, Bazoo, Scout, Leo and Daisy and they're all friends and you can play with them. Lily's pretty cool too because she has these two little purses on and inside she's got a lot of cupcakes in there so she's my kind of a gal. Get them Scout. They're teaming up with the bugs to help fight the slugs. So in honor of the cute little panda bear characters in the game and the World Wildlife Fund, today we are going to be making some cute little DIY panda traits. Let's get started. The first treat that we're going to be making are these adorable panda macarons. The things that you will need will be 3 fourths cup of powdered sugar, half a cup and two tablespoons of almond flour, two egg whites, a fourth cup of sugar, and some black food coloring. And then for the filling, we will need half a cup of heavy cream, one cup of white chocolate chips. We'll also need a couple tips. I've got a 2A and a number five and some piping bags. The first thing that we're gonna do to make our panda macarons is we are gonna sift together our powdered sugar and almond flour. Here, I've got a bowl in the middle with a strainer. I'm gonna pour both of these in here. And make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Now we're gonna gently mix this up and set it off to the side. Now we're gonna make our meringue. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna crack two egg whites into this bowl. We are first gonna mix together our egg whites till they're frothy. This is what it looks like. Kinda looks like a bubble bath. It's a bunch of bubbles. Now we are gonna slowly add our sugar. Just drizzle it really lightly as we're mixing for about three to four minutes until it forms stiff peaks. Boom! We've got some peaks! Now we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients to our meringue. And remember you want to fold it in. I like to do it in thirds. Just eyeballing it and you cut it down the middle and you fold underneath and turn about halfway. And you're gonna keep doing this until it's well incorporated. We've got it all mixed up and now I'm just gonna take a little scoop. I'm just eyeballing it. We just need a little bit to dye black. I'm just gonna take a little bit of black food coloring dye, add it to our batter, take a spoon and mix it around. Our batter is now ready. I placed it over here into two plastic baggies with tips at the end for a little bit more control. On the white batter, I have the 2A tip and on the black batter, I have the number five tip. Over here, I have a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. On the bottom side, ooh, I've traced a bunch of little circles. They're about an inch and a half big. And then you wanna face them down so that whatever side you draw on is on the bottom and not touching the food. We're gonna take a little bit of batter and just put a little dab into each corner and stick it down. Now we're gonna pipe our panda cookies. We're gonna start with the white batter. We're just gonna fill in each circle. We've got our cookies piped onto the pan. Now we're gonna give it a tap to get the air bubbles out. This is loud, be careful. Careful. Then you're gonna take your black batter and we're gonna make the panda's ears and facial features. But remember, we're only gonna be decorating half of them with panda faces. Boop. Oh my gosh, so cute! Once you've got your pandas piped, now we are gonna let them sit out at room temperature for about 30 to 40 minutes for them to form a skin. Once they've set, now we are gonna bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 325 degrees and bake these cookies for about 12 to 18 minutes. And 
you look at this nifty trick, we're going to double pan it while we bake so that our macarons won't burn at the bottom and they will build taller feet. While our cookies are baking, we're gonna be making our white chocolate ganache filling. We are gonna take our cream, a spatula, our white chocolate chips, and a pot over to the stove. To make our ganache filling, pour the cream into the saucepan over medium low heat. Heat until it's scalding, which is when the teeny bubbles will start to form all the way around the ring of the pan. Then pour the warm cream over the white chocolate chips and stir together until smooth. Now we're gonna place this into the fridge to chill. Our cookies have baked and I've given them plenty of time to cool and I just took the ganache out of the fridge, put it into a plastic baggie and I just cut the tip to make it a little bit easier. Now we are gonna assemble. It's gonna take up a bottom piece, put a nice little layer of white chocolate ganache, yum yum yum. And then we're gonna place on the top cookie. Oh my gosh, adorable. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of our cookies. And there you have it. Here's all of our panda macarons that we made. The next thing that we're gonna be making are panda panna cottas. Panna cottas. The things you will need to make the panna cotta will be one cup of milk, one and a half cup of heavy cream, one cup of Greek yogurt, six tablespoons of water, three fourths cup of sugar, two packets of powdered gelatin, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of almond extract. You will also need some white candy candy melts, black candy melts, and a silicone mold with these little half sphere cavities. Then to make our brownies for the bottom, you will need one cup and two tablespoons of sugar, half a cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of dark cocoa powder, one third cup of whole milk, half a cup of vegetable oil, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, fourth a teaspoon of salt, fourth a teaspoon of baking powder, three and a quarter inch circle cookie cutter. The first half of the treat is the panna cotta and that's what we are gonna make because it needs about four hours to set. So you're gonna take your little bowl of water and we're gonna add both of the gelatin mixtures to the bowl. Take your spoon, mix together, just put our gelatin off to the side. Now you're gonna take your sugar, cream, a whisk, and pot over to the stove. Add the cream into the saucepan and then the sugar. Whisk together until combined and then turn the stove onto medium low heat. Continue whisking until the sugar is completely dissolved and the cream is warm. Then remove from the stove and back to your baking station. Just took our cream mixture off of the stove. Be careful because the outside of the saucepan is hot, but our cream is very warm. It's interesting. Just be careful. Don't get your fingers. Now you're gonna take your gelatin, add it to your cream mixture, mix together until the gelatin has fully melted. Next, we are gonna mix together some of our wet ingredients. We are gonna mix together yogurt, our extracts, vanilla and almond, and our milk into this bowl right here. Then using a spatula, I'm just gonna mix together. Here's our cream mixture. We're gonna add it to the bowl now. Whisk together one more time until fully combined. I transferred our panna cotta mixture into a measuring cup because it's a little bit easier to pour into the molds because it's got a spigot. And we've got our mold. I put it on top of a baking sheet so it would sit flat, it would be even. And I'm gonna give it a quick spray before we pour in our panna cotta mixture. It's now time to fill up our molds. You're gonna fill them all the way to the top. Once your mold is filled, we're gonna place these in the fridge to set for about four hours. While our panna cotta is chilling in the fridge, we are gonna make some brownies for the bottom. Yum, 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 yum. The first thing that we're gonna do is whisk together some dry ingredients in this mixing bowl right here. We are gonna whisk together our flour, dark cocoa powder, sugar, baking powder, and salty, salty. Ding. Then whisk together till everything's well combined. Next, we are gonna add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. It doesn't matter what order. I love this recipe, it's really easy. We are gonna add our oil, milk, vanilla, and one full egg. And whisk together one more time until everything is well combined. Our brownie batter is ready. Now we're gonna pour it into our pan. Over here, I've got our pan. It is eight by eight inch square pan, which I have lined with a piece of parchment paper at the bottom and lightly sprayed it with baking spray because we'll want to pop out our brownies easily after they've baked. And now, I'm gonna 
40 and fill her up. Oh, yum. You guys, this is like a chocolate waterfall. Our brownies are ready to bake. We are going to heat our oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 50 minutes. It's a little bit longer than normal, but it's because we want our brownies to be pretty dry to hold the panna cotta on top. We took our brownies out of the oven, gave it plenty of time to cool. I just popped it out of the pan and placed it onto a cutting board. I am now going to take the circle cookie cutter and cut out the bottom base of our panna cottas. We've cut out our brownies, our panna cottas have set, and now we are gonna assemble our panda cottas. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna pop these out. I'm just gonna use my hands. Ooh, and place it on top, place it on top. Now time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. I've got some candy melts that are black that have not been melted. We're gonna use these for the ears. And then over here, in these two little plastic baggies, I have some black melted candy melt and white melted candy melt. You only need a little bit. You really don't need a lot. First thing I'm gonna do is place their little ears. So you're just gonna stick two in at the top. And now, I'm just gonna eyeball it and draw two eyes and a nose. Did you? Here are all the panda cotta treats that we made. The next thing that we're gonna be making are these yummy little panda pudding cups. The things you will need for the panda pudding cups will be some Oreos, four dessert glasses, then for the pudding you will need two cups of whole milk, a third cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, two pinches of salt, two tablespoons of butter, and half a vanilla bean. Then for the whipped cream, you will need one cup of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of sugar. You'll also need some black candy melts and a one ounce ice cream scoop. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna add our sugar, cornstarch, two pinches of salt, and then I'm gonna whisk together. Now I'm gonna slowly pour the milk into the saucepan while whisking. Hi pour, hi pour. After you've whisked everything together, now we are gonna add our vanilla bean. Over here, I've slid the vanilla bean down the middle the long way. I'm gonna take a sharp cutting knife and scrape down to get all of the vanilla beans out. We're gonna put all these little beans over here in our saucepan. Now we're gonna take our saucepan and head over to the stove. Turn your heat to medium low. Leave the mixture on the stove until it's nice and warm and begins to thicken, making sure not to burn. Once it's ready, remove from the stove and take it back to your baking station. I just took the pudding off the stove. Be careful, it's really, really hot. Now I'm gonna pour it through our strainer. I've got a bowl here, strainer on the top. Remember, it's hot, just be careful, watch your fingers. And I'm gonna add our butter. Using the spatula, I'm gonna mix in the butter until it's completely melted and shiny. I'm gonna let my pudding sit out at room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna cover the top with a piece of plastic wrap so that the pudding won't form a skin and pop it in the fridge to chill. While our pudding is in the fridge, we are gonna whip together our heavy whipping cream and sugar in this bowl right here. Then using a hand mixer, I'm gonna mix together on a lower speed until it becomes thicker and then I'm gonna crank it up. I'm gonna crank this up probably to a five. Yum, whip crank, I have a little bite. I've let the pudding set in the fridge to chill for two hours, and now we are ready to assemble our cute little panda pudding cups. I've got my little cups laid out here, and I've got the pudding. I've put it into a plastic baggie and cut off the end for just a little bit more control. And then over here in this bowl, I've just crushed up some Oreos. You can throw them in a blender. They're all crushed up. I left the filling in there, and we're just gonna start stacking. It's gonna go Oreos pudding, Oreos pudding. We're gonna layer it. Time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. Take your little ice cream scoop. We're gonna go over here to our whipped cream, take a scoop, and we're really gonna pack it in there. And then I've got a little hand towel over here, and I'm just gonna tap it onto the side of the counter, like this. It's a little bit messy, but it's really gonna give it a nice shape. Here we go, first one, we're gonna flip it upside down. Whoop. We're gonna pipe on simple panda faces using our candy melts. Two little ears. Little nose and two eyes. Now we're gonna do this to make the rest of our panda pudding cups. Ta-da! Here are all the DIY panda theme treats that we made today. We made panda macaron cookies and panna cotta treats. 
And last but not least, Panda Pudding Cups. I'll be posting lots of pictures of these treats on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make any of these panda themed treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes my day. It makes me happy. Special thanks to Best Fiends for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. I just think it's so awesome that Best Fiends, Apple, and World Wildlife Fund teamed up to do something awesome. And if you want to play Best Fiends, I'll put a link down below where you can try it and download for free. Alright, hope you guys like the treats. Bye bye! <laughs>